All right, welcome everyone. And I know that Helma has some questions or ideas. Hmm. <laughs> Let's start with the general ones. This may be not really surprising, but when Ron talked about rails and lines on, in the chat, I decided I want things the way they are. I tend to take more. I have a pretty lively fantasy and a pretty detailed imagination. So I'm all the time we are on Xenos, I'm working really hard to try not to imagine too much. And being in the building Ron sent us right now just makes it worth. So to get through this without completely freaking out and with being able to go to sleep afterwards, I would like things like they are. I'm a little bit sorry that I didn't press us to talk about these things earlier. Because saying it now may mean to kind of pressure people into accepting what I want in a different way than you might have done if we have talked about this together. So what kind of, okay. Are there are there possible responses that you're interested in having, or what uh, what feedback do you are you interested? In? Um, one thing is I wanted to lift it from my soul. Another thing is what others think about talking about these things before, which can be difficult if you don't know what you're going into. On the other hand, I have difficulties if we are in the middle of something thing to cry out for help or to, to say stop. Okay. Just want to know how it is with others in case we continue playing to, with, with each other, with which I hope. My immediate comment is that it was, it's really good that you, uh, that we, I mean, immediately when you feel, feel a need to draw a line or to what do you do with the veil? Sit down and, and, and or, or take that discussion. I think we should do that because it's so important to keep the the, the kind of experience around this to be uh, good for everyone. Um, so I think is it really good to, to and I mean now is as good as ever. I think there's is it. I I don't feel my. my I want you to be comfortable. That's even more important than I, that we or I am telling my story. And I mean, that that must be, it's, for me, it's totally uncontroversial and yes, good thing. And, um, but, but you could be more precise what you mean, because I, is it, is it like, what is it that you, it like um, violence and, and gore or what, what is it? No, not violence and gore as such. Um, I think I, I, I can take pretty much of that. It's a general feeling of uh, it's things like misuse, maybe may I, I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, Things like rape, for example, that's why I didn't want to play my life with master because I found the risk too great. It's things like if children things are like, involved. Do you mean things like can happen to you? Uh, yes. No, no, not, not, not things, or not always. It's, it's like if things can happen to children, especially girls. There is a partly lot. probably because I have two of them <laughs> and I'm one myself. So it's a little bit silly sometimes, but it's I, the funny thing. It's not the blood and gore 
per se. That's mm. often so uh, in a way that I rather find it amusing, which sounds completely crazy, but if it's I, I, I just don't, the word don't you process are, it. The, the word in English that matches what you're saying is abuse. Um, yeah, so, thank you. Right. And uh, this book, the, the book is not very explicit in its language, but a lot of the topics that it brings up, especially on Xenos, yeah. are really bad. I mean, really bad. And I decided a while ago that I didn't want to drop your characters like right into the breeding pit or somewhere else, which is really a terrible place. And um, I didn't want to describe. So the, the example that you guys probably remember from the chat is that I mentioned that in this at the risk of at the risk of going too far in this conversation, um, that Isabella's cyber lab is a horrible place, and that there are visible there's visible evidence of how terrible it is where you are, and so what I've chosen to do is not to describe anything in detail. So in some ways, I'm leaving that descriptive material out of the uh, out of the the descriptions, um, and part of it too is that what I'm imagining is what the book suggests, and then I, I give it shape of my own in my head, and. I figure I'll just let everybody do the same. Right. Mm -mm. And that way, that way I don't share, you don't get what the book suggests filtered through my imagination and me communicating that, right. That's, that's what I'm not going to do for this game. Um, so I guess the, you said that you wanted things to stay kind of described the way I've been doing or that yeah. we've been doing. And I, that's my intention. That's exactly what I'd like to do. Um, because then I but, just have to concentrate on keeping my own imagination right. on its lead. Right. So everybody is sort of, there, there may be a little less description happening than the content. You know, I, I would ordinarily describe, look, you know, the, the, the bus has four wheels because it's a bus, but I'll just leave that kind of detail out for the more upsetting stuff. Um, so that's, does anyone, Max or Nathan or Emma, are you interested in the topic at all of these kinds of boundaries in role-playing or is it, are we just ready to, Roll quickness, or I, 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 I think if 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 you do as you have done, it's okay. Uh, I totally get it because I can't handle horror movies at all. Not even when someone telling me the right. plot. Right. So I <laughs> I get it. Right. I, I'm the I'm I'm kind of the guy that's like, let's see what happens. If I don't like it, I, I say, right. or uh, I'll, not, I'll not, not try it afterwards. But right. often I'm I'm pretty, uh, um, yeah, I I can handle much. But if somebody can't handle it, it's better if they say, and then we right. go another. This is our story, so right. it's good if everybody's comfortable. Um, one possible, I don't think that we, I don't anticipate this, but I'll say that. One of the techniques that people use a lot that I don't like is called the X card. And the X card is kind of like a full lockdown. Right? You show this black card that has an X on it and play locks down, shuts up, stops, and then you rewind back to some point. 
And in my opinion, it's a very crude and blunt technique. And it's basically and that is not a big what shot. I want. I know. I don't want it either. It seems to me that a much more functional device is simply to say, let's, you know, less please. You know, just less of that. And then we continue to play and we just decrease the the intensity of the imagery or or something like that. Um, so anyway, there, there, I think those are, are reasonably effective. And that way, nobody's telling anyone to shut up, right? But on the other hand, we are listening to each other and helping each other imagine the way we want to. Um, but it is hard to speak up. And that's why sometimes it's better to just have a phrase like, you know, less please. Instead, and you don't have to explain yourself because that's who hate. I can't imagine anything worse than a debate in the middle of play about that. You know, I mean, it's, I can imagine worse I think things, it's but better. not many. <laughs> and it's better to have a discussion afterwards. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Silly. What, what could have be done better and what can we do in the future? Yeah. For, the, for this group or so. Um, so, Nathan, did you have any thoughts? Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. I mean, um, I'm fine with that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's if it's too much description, then, then less description. That's it. <laughs> right. That's... Well, I'm, I'm, as I say, I'm keeping it lower than higher. <clears throat> um, so let's see. Oh, uh, Helma, are we are we good to continue, or would you like to? Um, yes, I want. There's one thing I want to back on when it comes to last time. I said something about uh, being at the point to unleash the sea beast, uh, and I realized afterwards that was me wanting to do it, not Claire. Right. Okay. Well, just, just forget uh, about it. Yes. At I this didn't... moment. Right. Well, we have, we were not in the play of action at the time, so Claire has not no. done it. If she will, it will happen from the start. I can right say yet. this, that I I simply, I have a tendency to forget if you're not the boss that you don't see everything. I don't want to imagine. Right, right. It's a little tricky to, to imagine, yeah. to, to figure out I what your character sees and doesn't point. see. Um, mm -hmm. I've been assuming that when the boss is, when we have a fair amount of time that the boss is looking around enough that the crickets can make use of their senses. And that's that's what I've been assuming. Unless a couple of times I've said the boss is busy. No, you can't look around. The boss is looking at something. But 